Hello, my name is Justin Brighthop, and I am with the Unboxing Authority, and today on this episode, I have a question for you. Are you tired of slow, unstable internet getting red lights and all kinds of things in the middle of your important work, like trying to upload YouTube videos, for example? Well, if you are, I've got brand new high-speed, unlimited 4G LTE, no data caps, up to 150 megabits per second. For me, I got 63. Okay, spoiler alert. But um, we're going to check that out today. This is an epic episode because today we are going to be testing out 4G LTE speed with this Netgear modem. And it comes from BlazingHog.com. Okay, for $99 a month, you can have unlimited... 4G LTE internet up to 150 megabits per second. And we're going to see how fast we can get this thing. Uh, today on this video, we're not going to modify this. We're not going to add any antennas to it. We're just going to put it in locations that are worst case and best case scenario locations. I will give you a photograph of the bottom of this where I'll get my personal information off of it because the modem has you know personal information. But uh, one of the best things about this service that I know of is you don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is plug it in. It's ready to go. They they have these things ready to go before they ship them out. So you you literally don't have to do anything uh, to make them work. The other thing is is that Wi-Fi, microwaves, wireless devices interfere with uh, cell phone signal. So this guy is isolated. It doesn't have any wireless built in it. Anything. It only works with the cell tower. It has a one gigabit ethernet port in the back, on off switch, reset switch, which you don't want to press because it comes fully uh, programmed. It also has two uh, antenna ports, and I'm, I might listen to the description. Um, you can find on Netgear's website what type of ports those are. I think they're PN9s or something. There's something that ends in a nine. Um, anyway, it's got a 12 volt input. It only uses one amp of power, it says. and We've got five signal lights to help you know without getting into the modem or anything how many decibels you're getting and all that. I have not heard anything bad about these modems. I went and looked at the reviews on Amazon. There was like maybe one review that was bad. And uh, so basically this thing, the way it is with the built-in antennas is supposed to be awesome. Okay, I don't know. I haven't tested this yet. This thing's definitely got a lot in it. It's like an inch tall. Okay, it's like an inch thick. So it's definitely got a lot in it. It has wall mounts on the back. So let's go ahead and hook it up and we can read some of the features. It has lots of features. It also, according to Netgear, has a uh, feature where you can send text messages when you log into this on your computer through your web browser or from your phone or whatever. Free text messages, I guess, I don't know. Um, so the other thing to know really quick is do not use this with a Netgear AC router. Even though this is a Netgear modem, if you use it with any Netgear AC router, uh, there have been known issues evidently with uh, IP addressing and things like that. So just don't do it. All right, let's get this off of here and get the show on the road. All right, so we started the laptop back up here. We're in our best case scenario uh, location and the modem has got five bars again. It's sitting on top of the microwave and direct line of sight of the cell phone tower. I'm going to show you guys that real quick and then we'll do some speed tests. Alright, so there is the cell tower. We have line of sight on it. I'm going to zoom out. And we haven't made any modifications to the modem, haven't hooked up extra antennas, haven't put it inside of any kind of dish or anything. Alright, so we're about to run a speed test on this. Here we go. It's loading all these ads for some reason. It is connected to Walnut Creek, California, and we were in Washington State, and we have an 84, ping of 84 milliseconds, even though we're up in Washington, we're connecting clear to California. This is in real time. So we got 45.27 megs down, okay. and 18.07 up. We're gonna take a screenshot of that one. All right, so what I discovered, I got into 
uh, the modem and I got to look at the decibel signal noise loss thing and you want this number, this RSCP negative number to drop as low as possible. So I found out that if I hold the modem up and I'll show you, let me zoom out. Well first I'll show you here so you can see on the screen but if I hold it up at just the right angle towards the tower, uh, that number goes down. Let me see if, yeah, see it went down to 70. It was at 77, now it's negative 70. That's actually a huge improvement for speed. So that's the perfect spot. Uh, just holding it in the air. So now I'm going to zoom out and let you see what I'm doing and I'm going to let you see the speed test. So basically since our tower is right up there, what I decided to do is just take this modem and just hold it like this pointed up at the tower and it gets me down to negative 70, 71 uh, decibels uh, RS RP. When I do that, of course you don't want to hold this in your hand because it could cause you know, radiation problems or whatever. So, but anyways, I did a couple speed tests that way just to see uh, what it would do at that angle since that's where the lowest decibels are here. And of course, this is nowhere near the end of my testing. I can improve that. But here's what I got. I got a ping of 99 milliseconds since we're going through California. Uh, download 62.88 and I, this was repeatable. I did it more than once. 93 millisecond ping. Okay, so it seems like no matter what I do, these speed tests keep changing because some people are using this cell and they're not. Look, we're now at 50, 60. There we go again. This is what I was talking about, 63. We actually got up to 63 that time. Okay, we're going to upload again. There it is. 18.32 upload. You can't beat that in Pomeroy. I mean, if you got satellite or any other service, you're going to be paying. Uh, this is unlimited, so you're not going to, you know, you can't run out of bandwidth. So I'm going to print screen. We're going to save that result as another perfect score. All right, so really quick, if you guys want to get the Blazing Hog internet service and you want to support this YouTube channel, make sure that you send me, okay, your service address where you want the internet and your name and all and uh, a way to contact you like a phone number or something and make sure you send that along with your email address to me at usacomputertech at gmail.com you can also call me at 509-730-5576 i'll appreciate your help and support because i have to take care of my grandma all right, thanks so much. Bye. So real quick before I end this video, there's some stuff. I was, I was editing it here, and I thought, you know, there's some things that I forgot to tell you guys, okay? Because you can't just rely on speed tests, all right? So I want to let you guys know I've been uploading, you know, my 4K Ultra HD videos. And in the past, in my previous videos, I talked about how I actually wanted to try to get 4G LTE service. I've been talking about it for a long time. And the problem is, is before, everybody wanted to charge $160, you know, a month for it or whatever. And this guy, he's charging $99 a month through the Blazing Hogs. And remember, you want to support my channel, uh, contact me with the information. I'll contact them, and then I get, you know, uh, I'm supposed to get a referral bonus on that, refer a friend bonus. Um, but only $99 a month, same kind of service, okay? And if you're having trouble getting um, signal, I can tell you for a fact that there are ways to improve the signal. You're supposed to be within like five miles of the tower, okay, to get service. And if you're having trouble with signal, you can get TS9 MIMO antennas with you want highest decibel uh, increase ratings you can find on you know eBay, Amazon, wherever. And you want to get those and put them on your modem if you if you want to. And then in another video, in like the next video, you're going to see me actually take the modem and put it into a Dish from Dish TV. And I got a 0.10 uh, decibel increase, which is actually a lot um, for these speed tests and speed results and stuff. The other thing, of course, is that for the best speed and performance, you're going to want as short of Ethernet cables as possible between the modem and the router and the computer and all that. Of course, though, remember, uh, your Wi-Fi signal could try to interfere with the modem, the 4G LTE modem, so you may want some distance or shielding between, you know, your 4G modem and the router. Just don't shield your 4G modem from the tower, okay? And you saw in this video how um, putting it in different locations significantly affects the speed by like 20 megabits possibly, you know, per second. So uh, make sure you do that. 
So when I'm uploading my YouTube videos now, my 4, 4G, I'm sorry, 4G LTE, my 4K, see there you go, those go together, 4G LTE and 4K videos. When I upload my 4K uh, videos, it usually takes about 24, 25 minutes now. It used to take, on my connection here, my single line DSL connection, if I wanted to upload um, if a, you know, ultra HD video, it would take um, a really long time, you know, it could take a day or half of a day to upload a video from here or it would just time out and I'd be done and I'd have to completely restart and so I just gave up on that and I went to my parents house where they had the dual bonded um, CenturyLink you know two lines and it took me probably about half of a day to upload a 4k video at their house okay and now that I've got the 4g LTE um, internet from blazing hogs I can do it in 24 minutes or less sometimes 25 minutes you know and that that's what I needed you know because 800 kilobytes per second is not enough to upload 4k ultra HD videos and um, the blazing hogs I get up to 20 sometimes you know or more for upload and it's just it's amazing it's it's beyond anything else this internet is available right now in Pomeroy Washington Garfield County anywhere within five miles of 4G LT AT&T or T-Mobile uh, cell tower right now you don't have to worry about them installing cables cables getting cut the snow taking it out whatever you know because it's there and you don't have to worry your phone lines getting messed up uh, you, you know with the like five gigahertz band uh, internet that people do where it's point to point and they got their little towers in town and stuff you know if your trees get in the way or it snows real bad or something it doesn't work um, but you know I don't know we've had fog we've had snow and so far the 4G LTE is working um, I haven't had a time where I can't get online you know and if there's ever a point where I can't afford the 4G LTE service or for whatever reason it's not working when I need it I could you know, go back to CenturyLink, but it just doesn't seem worth it. Subscriber Bunny agrees that 4K video is good for you. It's good for your health, so make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. Midge Splish You, please check out ChristianCourts.com and how to build a moped.com and all those other affiliate links and great things in my GoFundMe. Alright, bye.